FX revamped for CS4. We have a fairly sharp picture. We're going to put the old style Hasselblad filter software in the shadows and in the highlights into our image. First thing you do is duplicate the layer to get a copy layer, Command J. Take that layer and take a look at your size of your image. Right now I'm dealing with an image which is about, I think it's only 9 megabytes, it's a 5 by 7. So we're going to put a blur on this layer which is filter blur, Gaussian blur, about a 9 or so. So there I'm at 8.9. You see it knocks it in quite fuzzy. So use the size of your file to make up the amount of the radius blur for Gaussian blur. Next, change this to darken. What we're going to do here is darken the uh, dark areas of your picture. Now it looks a bit uh, funny right now, but you're going to knock back the opacity just so you affect the dark areas only. I'm going to keep dialing it down until I get somewhere that the, s the highlights aren't too bad, but we still have a little bit in the shadow. So I'm going to leave this about 37% or so, and you can see the hair, the dark areas, tend to have more diffusion happening on them than the highlights. What you're going to do now is duplicate this layer. This is going to keep that uh, Gaussian blur still on there. Command J it again. And now I want you to change the blend mode to lighten. This is going to affect mainly the highlights now. Now I can, the opacity is down at 37, so bring it back up again and you'll affect more and more. Take it up to 100. You can see it's way too soft. So I'm going to bring it back now to somewhere around uh, 60, 59, around there. I kind of like it right around there. So here's the effect on the highlights. I'm clicking on and off. Here's the effect on the shadows. You can see it coming on and off. There's our original image back again, so it's quite sharp. Now we've got diffuse highlight uh, uh, softening, and we have some diffuse shadow softening, the dark areas. What I'm going to do now is just quickly take these two layers and Command D, merge them together so they're all together. Now they do pick up a little bit of steam when you do that, so take it down a little bit. They seem to multiply together. So take it down a little bit. you got them both in one layer now. We're going to add a layer mask from the bottom of the palettes. Now I'm going to just, with black as my foreground color, come in and brush the eyes back a little bit sharper. You can always bring the opacity down a little bit if you come in a bit too much. Make the bridge of the nose sharp. So the face uh, is generally soft except for the eyes. It doesn't look like it's out of focus then. Now let's bring his teeth in here. Boy, there's a different color in his teeth than her teeth, isn't there? So here's the effect we're going to get. I just click on this and you can see the sharpness coming back in. Skin is nice and smooth. Wrinkles are reduced. We've got the soft R effect happening. Highlights are knocked down too. So now we've got the effect. Here's the effect of the actual layer on there. That's where we just drew in to bring the mouth back sharp. And we're all done. You can collapse that layer or leave it as an intact layer for your retouching. And that will be your soft R effect. This is in the old Hasselblad soft R filters that used to be very popular in Hasselblads.